Do you have trouble getting your executive to go through their emails? As EAs, we can respond to some of the emails that come into the executive's inbox. The rest needs to be addressed by the executive. And sometimes it's really hard getting an executive to manage their own emails, which can then lead to emails building up in their inbox. I decided to create this video to help executive assistants support their executive in managing their Outlook inbox. Some executives really struggle doing this. I have worked as an EA for high level executives, such as CEOs, directors, founders, and I have done this for over 20 years. And I've worked in many countries over that time. I have worked with executives that are easy to support and other executives that were not so easy to support. And I want to share five techniques that made my life and their life a little easier when it came to their emails. Some executives are on top of all their emails, so we only need to expend a little effort on their behalf. As for other executives, it seems no matter how much we ask them to check their emails, they don't and their inbox fills up with the emails they need to action or read. Now these techniques I'm going to share with you, not one size fits all. So what worked for one executive didn't work for another. You may have to try a few of these before you find the one that works for both you and your executive. Okay, let's start with number one. This technique is really hands-on and time consuming However, if it works, then it's worth it. At your catch-up each morning, sit with your executive and go through their inbox and respond to each email there and then. Then follow those emails away so they are no longer in the inbox. Delete the emails that are irrelevant and follow the ones that need to be read but don't need any action taken. You may have to read those emails to your executive before filing. Number two, before you go home, check your executive's inbox and write down in a notebook details of the emails needing that your executive's attention that came through after your morning catch up with your executive. Do the same when you get into work the next day. Write everything down in a notebook. At the morning catch up with your executive, read out those details of the emails that came in and write down your executive's response to each email and execute those responses after your morning meeting. After you respond to each email, file them out of the inbox and into appropriate folders. Now, before we get to number three, if you do find my content helpful and informative, then please subscribe, like and share. Okay, on to number three. Go through your executive's emails and color code them. You could use red for emails that need to be actioned right away. Purple can be reading materials. Green could be emails just for their attention but no action required. The color coding is up to you, but make sure your executive knows about the process. Number four. Add time in your executive's Outlook folder for them to go over emails. Then attach the emails in the Outlook scheduled time slot. Your executive can open up the invite and see the attached emails they need to go over and action. This saves your executive time rather than writing them a list of the emails they need to go through and have them look for those emails in their inbox. Number five. You can move emails that come into your executive's inbox into folders. For example, set up a reading folder for anything that your executive needs to read. Or set up a to be action folder for anything that needs to be actioned. And move emails into those corresponding folders. You can even create rules through Outlook for certain emails to go into those folders automatically. Then schedule a recurring time in your executive's Outlook every day for your executive to go through those folders. When emails have been actioned and read, you get them out of those folders and file them away. Do not remove emails from those folders if they are still marked unread. 
Well, that's the five techniques I have used in my past. I would love to know if you've used these techniques yourself or you have other techniques. Leave a comment below. I'd also love to hear from you if you have found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like.